With the sewage crisis continuing to impact local beaches, a new tool could help you decide whether it is safe to swim. Yeah, important information, right? You see San Diego scientists now unveiling this forecast model that shows the risk of illness from sewage contamination, especially along beaches near the San Diego-Tijuana border. CBS 8's Virginia Rita now in the studio with us uh, with the latest. Virginia. Hey, guys, that's right, and I can tell you that Right now, um, this is something that they continue to work with, um, the sewage crisis. Uh, we actually saw a webinar uh, not too long ago, early in the morning, that kind of breaks down exactly what they're trying to do. So uh, what they kind of uh, made it clear is that this isn't a advisory. That is something that the county already has, and they provide data online. However, this tool does kind of counter uh, sort of the wind shores, the wind, things that factor in this the sewage crisis and they're going to do it on an online system and that online system will tell you specifically during a time period as well as uh, which beaches could be far less contaminated. Uh, let's say if in Coronado it has a, an advisory that you should not be going into the water but uh, Silver Strand is different. So this is something that they're still working on and we actually had a little bit about that webinar earlier today. Take a listen. Forecast generally updates around 6.30 a.m. And if we hit play, we can see sewage contours moving around in the, uh, in the coastal ocean. And uh, if you're a fluid dynamics nerd like I am, this can, be, this can be extremely hypnotic, okay? And you can grab this slider and you can move it back and forth. So this model could be a game changer to help families uh, make informed decisions about whether to take their kids to the beach. Future model developments are still in the works. Phase two of the model is planned for summer 2026. It can contain even more information to improve swimmer illness risk forecasts. Guys.